Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at Joy Toy's new 10th Legion Flying Cavalry Type B. This is a 118 scale action figure, and this is the packaging it comes in. The packaging is actually sealed in a plastic wrap, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and we'll take a look at the packaging. Okay, now we've moved the plastic wrap, we can take a look at the packaging the figure comes in. It comes in a Windows style box. On the front of the box, we have the very nice artwork of the figure. On the top right, we have the Joy Toy and Battle for the Stars logo. In the center, we have the Flying Calvary Type B in yellow. With a little bit of a shadow across the lettering, which is pretty nice. In the bottom right, we have the 118 scale um, display. On the top of the box, we have a Joy Toy. Done in the, with the yellow box in the black print, which is really nice. The bottom we have the Battle for the Stars logo. On both sides we have 10th Legion Flying Cavalry Type B. On the back of the box on the top we have the 10th Legion. On the right we have the Joy Toy Battle for the Stars logo again. Here, if you guys want to go ahead and pause and read this on your own time you can. So the top paragraph is basically a product information. The second paragraph is about Joy Toy and the company and the third paragraph is a little bit of information about the product and some precautions if you want to go ahead and pause and read that. Here at the bottom we have warning for tricking has small parts for children on the age of three and these are adult collectibles and they're recommended for ages 17 and up. On this side we have the UPC and these are made in China. We spin the box back around. We do have a flap in the front that's held by two pieces of Velcro here on the top and on the bottom on the, on the flap also. On this side we have the nice artwork of the figure and we have 10th Legion Flying Cavalry here at the top. Here's what the figure looks like inside the window box. It's really good. You can see the figure and all of his accessories. Pretty nice thing. So let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging and see what we got. Okay, so we'll toss that onto the side. We have a product insert, a joy toy. Okay, then looks like we have Battle for the Stars and the Temple Legion Flying Gallery Type B. Then we have a photo of the front and back of the figure with his um, jetpack on and holding his weapon. Pretty cool. On this side, we have some precautions. I recommend you read those before you uh, manipulate or play with your figure. And at the bottom, we have a disassembly diagram. Tell you how to take away, take apart your figure so you can remove its gear or replace any broken joints if you have that option. Here is a clamshell. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can get this out of here without sending any of our accessories flying through the air due to the friction of the uh, film show. Looks like we did a pretty good job. Okay, let's take a look at the figure first. Okay, here he is. Seems to be pretty good. Solid figure. Joints don't seem to be too tight. You always want to check your joints, guys, when you get these. Um, sometimes you get them, they're perfect. Sometimes you have to heat them up a little bit. But they are getting better at the uh, joints. So I've been quite lucky for the last three figures. I haven't had to do any heating too much. So let's go ahead and take a look at that head sculpt close. Okay, so looks like we have a oh, an American. No, it's not really American. He's a more of a white male. Um, he has a screaming face. I am not a fan of the screaming face. In my opinion, it kind of pigeonholes you into what you can do for display purposes. Um, he has a pretty good buzz cut around his head. Nice sculpting on the ear. He does have a big nose. Nice. Semis. Kind of reminds me, I have a Russian feel to this guy, this head sculpt. It kind of looks like a Russian to me. I don't know why. 
but you can really see some of the pretty good scalp board. Let's see, I mean, look at like right here, the jaw line from the, the nose down to the mouth. You can actually see his teeth. I mean, you got to give him credit. That's pretty good. I mean, after you really look at it, the skull worked on him on the mouth, the cheeks, and the eyes. And that's a pretty d distinct nose. Wow. Looks like he has a orange type scarf under his neck. Looks like we have a white under under body shirt. This is kind of like a. It's a type of blue. It's not gray. I don't know how it's coming through the camera, but it kind of coming off as like a a bluish. Maybe it has some gray in it, but it looks bluish to me. It has that off white. Um, um, we have some shoulder pads on both arms, and we have some gray under the here. Some off white underneath that. He has no forearm guards or gauntlets. They're just sh his shirt. Interesting. Looks like he has a, his six pack abs here going on in his vest. We have a belt here, a big, large white. Uh, kind of looks like a jock strap. We have a mustard color pouch, off color white pouch, another mustard color pouch, another white piece in the back, and a burgundy type pouch there. And we have some small black ones here on the side. On the back, it kind of has that really cool spinal cord looking design on the vest. I do like that very much. Very nice. Let's take a look at the lower body of the figure. We have the 10 here on the thigh pad. We have the gun holster here. On this thigh pad, we have some of those, I'm calling them, I'm calling them ports. I'm betting this from, from some kind of um, pressure exhaust with some air for movability in the air. That's what I'm going with on these ones, guys. So if I'm wrong, please comment down below. And let me know what you guys think. We have knee pads that are black with a gunmetal trim around them. It's really cool. And here at the bottom, we have shin guards. We have an orange trim with a white underneath. So we have some gunmetal here, some black boots. Interesting how they pull this orange out of here. There's really nowhere else on the figure that orange is present. So I'm not sure, but it works. I mean, for the overall aesthetics and the color palette, it looks pretty decent. And this kind of, it's just enough to break up the colors. Interesting. So let's go ahead and take a uh, 360 look at the figure. Before we uh, take a look at the articulation. Back looks really good. I got this nice and thick joint sore. Should not break on you. If you just uh, use your gentle play and uh, our dexterity. Um, just remember to know your range when you're playing with a toy figure. So you, if you pick up your arm, you don't force it to it. When you're starting to feel resistance. Let's take a look at that and see what we find out here. The head is on a ball joint, Rodex 360. Get a little bit down and up. You'll get more if you remove the scarf. Head side to side. Not bad at all. Arms, let's see what we got. They feel smooth and nice. Rodex 360 on both sides and no issues. Let's see, I go up that far. Now when you read again. I can feel this. Now I get about right there. I start feeling resistance. You want to be very careful. You can't force it anymore. The shoulder pad hits the top of the shoulder. Looks very good. Like I said, you can get his arms to go up. Pretty good. Um, we do have a double, not double joint. We're not even to the knees yet. We have a bendable elbow with rotation here. The elbow all the way around 360 on both sides. And gets us a good 90 degree bend. This one seems to be just a little bit more. And we do have the new style wrist. So they're on the ball and they rotate all around. 
different directions. Yeah, so you can get pretty much any pose you want. You just move around the ball. Pretty good. He does have a ab crunch. Goes back, has side to side. Just chest articulation here, but you have to take off the vest to utilize it. He does sit pretty good for having that thick armor on. The articulation would improve tremendously if you remove the belt and the thigh pads. We have thigh rotation, pretty good. We have double jointed knees, feel nice and smooth. Okay, his feet do pivot down, pivot up. And do we have a toe articulation here? Up and back to stationary. Overall, very really nice. It's nice that I didn't have to do any heating. Um, straight unboxing looks really good. You know, so let's not make it a habit. You know, let's make sure we stay careful because sometimes they drop the ball and you did get a bad set. You're not getting any replacement of joints for these figures, so you want to be careful. And it'd be kind of hard to get a replacement of joint um, if you would need one. So, it's pretty decent. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. Okay, first accessory we're going to take a look at is this helmet. It's a nice gunmetal color. It does have a, uh, it's like a nice light red visor he has a so he has a gas mask here on the front definitely a breathing apparatus on the side here we have some I have an antenna or a black device here with a red wire on the side going to the antenna could be a communication device back of the helmet other side pretty much smears the side we just looked at same feature of his device here with the red wire going to the antenna these helmets are a replacement for the actual head sculpt these are not fit of the heads unfortunately but that's the uh, nature of the sculpt I guess so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what this looks like on the figure Okay, now we have the head attached to the body of the figure. So what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Fits perfectly once you remove the head, unmasked head. It's really good. Articulation is pretty much just a 360 around. You, don't get, you get a little bit of uh, barely anything actually. That was the waist moving. Yeah, with that scarf on it, that definitely hinders your ability to look down. You probably can get more of that if you remove that scarf. Overall, I do like the uh, helmet scarf. It looks really cool. But for me, honestly, it's off. It's off. Like it's off putting for me because it's like it doesn't match his armor. Like this color, really the only color. On his figure is this trim around his knee pads. It has that same color as his helmet. Other than that, I think they should have went with a, uh, you know, this color on his helmet. Even though it looks cool, it has a nice gun metal, but it just doesn't fit the overall aesthetic, in my opinion. But I do like the sculpt; it's very cool. So I do appreciate that. It's just, uh, it's definitely it makes the figure look a little different. In my opinion all right let's see what else we can find for his accessories okay here he has a pistol it's a new style pistol for joy toy for the 10th cal 10th legion flying cavalry i do like it it's really good we have the gun metal in the black i do like the sculpt I'm not a big fan of the the braces here on these weapons, especially on the rifles. But let's see how well he holds it. Okay, here he is. He can hold his, hold his pistol perfectly. Looks really cool.
Not bad at all. If you wanted to get a little flying gangster going on, you can do that also. All right, let's see how well it fits into his holster. Um, I think it might be too thick, maybe. Yeah, if you're gonna put it in this holster, it looks like you're gonna to have to get right in front of the trigger here. Across this trigger. Let's see if we can get it to go in. All right, this is nice and soft plastic. It's like hitting that. Um, sometimes you have to get something to help pull that out just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I think I might've got it. Almost. There we go. Yeah, you can, that's pretty much where it's gonna have to go. Let's see if we get close up with that. So right before the, right before that trigger there. Works out pretty good. Not too bad at all. All right. So let's see, we take a look at his assault rifle. This is also a new sculpt for George Toy. We have the gun metal. Then we have the black um, clip handle grip. Uh, stock and scope. This is a cool sculpt. I do like it. This one also comes with the Type A figure. It's really, really good. Okay, here he is holding the assault rifle. Holds it pretty decently. Overall, not too bad. Gun is almost, in my opinion, a perfect size because it's enough to get him to bring that weapon over to put in his other hand, as you can see. That is a perfect length. Really nice. I like the, I do like the sculpt and the overall size of this gun. It looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the jetpack. Start on this side. Um, it looks like to be the same jetpack as from the Type A gunmetal jetpack. We have the yellow and black stripes on the thrusters. We have the itty bitty little wings. We have some vents sculpted here. Some caution water slide decals. These little type of uh, wings for maybe for some stability. Nice sculpt work here in the center. These are stationary wings. You cannot move them. You cannot fold them back or down. That is definitely a unfortunate. But inside the thruster here, we do see the center. Oops, we do see the center piece. So that's pretty good. But I do wish we could have fold the wings back or maybe tilt them down for different poses. Um, on, on the other side, we have the pig hole. And that is another thing also, I really wish they would, would went with a strap type uh, fix instead of the pig holes on the figures. Um, they do have those backpacks with toy that has the working straps. And this is actually kind of like your G.I. Dirt type uh, design. Um, I think they kind of missed out on a couple of things with the jetpack. One, you know, the, a little hinge here would have went a, a long way. And the straps would have made it, made it tremendously better looking aesthetically. And uh, when you're playing with it, you're going to bump it. And that's what's going to happen when you're trying to pose them for your dioramas or for your playability. So, but overall, I mean, it's a cool design. But it's definitely not perfect. But nothing is perfect. But my opinion for premium figures, you know... You should expect premium sculpts and playability. And especially if they already spoiled us with those working straps. You can't go back. That's just my opinion. 
but it looks really good. All right, so that's most of his arsenal. And so he comes with, let's see, he has two sets of hands. And it looks like we're going to get a lot of the same accessories from the Type A. We have two um, replacement gripping hands. Maybe a little tighter. And then we also have two fisted hands. So if you want to get him into a fist fight with somebody or his team member, it's up to you. So that's all his accessories that you get. He looks really, really cool. Let's take it overall 360 with him all geared up. You can see how his wings fan out to the side there. You can definitely get him in some pretty cool poses if you wanted to. You know, for flight mode. It's really hard to hold on to him. Um, especially when a character like this, you want the head to go up so he can look forward. Um, that scarf is definitely going to hinder that ability. So if you remove that and see what kind of extra um, visibility you get in flight mode. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons with his other um, 10th Cavalry team members. In this 10th Legion, there are five members you have two heavies and two what i'm calling standard figures so first off we'll take a look at type b here with the type a and this is how they compare i have a review up for the other three that i'm going to show you if you want to check that out there's sort of good reviews a lot of good information but you can see the similar um his weapons are the same and the jetpacks are the same for these two. Very nice. They still look really good. Um, let's take a look at uh, the Type B here with one of the heavies. I don't remember if this is Type A or Type B. I do apologize. I don't have the box around the check, but this is how he compares with the heavy version. You can see the different type style of jetpacks that they have. Very cool. Now the type, uh, the heavies, let's call them the heavies for this for now, have the very similar style backpacks. Just, you know, it's the different colors. I'm trying to hold on to all this because, like I said, you can, as soon as you bump something, because the peg wants to fall off. Plus, how that compares. Looks really good. So, overall, for price for this guy, we're talking, um, hmm. Around $26 from China, you're looking about 35 bucks here in the United States. Um, just kind of a heads up for my channel. I've been, I keep an eye on the market, and if you guys do shop, for example, like Locker Toys, the heavies are both sold out. So, I'm looking, you know, if it, anything follows suit. These standard ones are probably going to sell it too. These seem to be very, very popular. Um, so you take that information as you see fit. But I think that if you do want to purchase any of these figures, you're going to have to, like, you know, do it relatively soon if you want to get them from Locker Toys. Or I recommend you guys going to your favorite United States um, online retailers and picking up. Getting a pre-order because I don't think any of these are available for United States yet. It's usually like a, most like a month on average 
for you to see Jewel Tree figures in the States um, once they're released in China. Obviously, they got to take time to get to the U.S. But uh, they're becoming extremely popular. So I just want to share that with you. And that way you can make your plans accordingly. So hope that information helps you. And you don't miss out on these amazing figures. Overall, um, I really like them. I'm, I highly recommend them. Um, they're not bad figures. They're good figures. They're really nice. I'm for this like so I have like the jetpack without the straps. You know the color of the helmet for this Type B, for example. But overall, I mean, there's it's a great figure. Um, really cool. Um, the only thing I else I could have wish I could have seen with these figures would have been like a flight stand. Um, if they would have utilized those beautiful stands that came with like the O9s Legion stands and then had like a clear peg with a attachment to put your figure in flight mode for display that would have been amazing but that'd probably try to price up well that's about all i got for you guys today i really hope you guys like this video if you did please consider subscribing and uh if you have already subscribed thank you so much thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next review